Alright, hello everyone and welcome to the next tutorial on duct tape stuff. This tutorial will be on how to make a duct tape book bag. First, let me begin by telling you that making a duct tape book bag will use a lot of duct tape, at least 12 yards of duct tape or more, so make sure you have enough duct tape before you start making the book bag. With that in mind, let's get started. Alright, the first step when you're making a book bag is to determine what you're making the book bag for. So for example, if I'm making it for this notebook, then obviously I have to measure it. The bottom of this notebook here is 8 inches long and the height of it is 10 and a half inches. Now obviously I need to make it a little bit bigger than that, so I'm going to put 10 inches here on the bottom and I'm going to go with 11 inches for the height. So that's what we're going to do for this notebook. All right, now we're going to start working on the actual book bag. So cut out, first cut out a 10 inch strip and get used to this because we're going to be cutting out a lot of them. So you got your one, cut out another 10 inch strip and put this one directly on top of the one you just cut out. Do it nice and carefully. This is going to be a little bit difficult because the larger the strip you put on will be a little bit more difficult to stick. The larger it is, the more difficult it is. So once you've got that one done, cut out another 10 inch strip put it down, overlap it just a little bit, about a quarter of an inch, just like that. Now flip it over. So now you have more sticky side over here. Cut out another 10 inch strip and apply it so it overlaps here and that there's no sticky side showing. Just a little bit. And then stick it down. And flip it over and you're just going to keep repeating this process all the way down until we get the correct length for the book back. Okay, so this is what it looks like after we've been continuing the process. We've just been applying duct tape down and then flipping it over, applying another piece and overlapping back and forth until you get a sheet of duct tape. Now we're coming towards the end here. Remember, I want the total length of it to be 11 inches. So I'm going to apply one more, overlap just a little bit here, flip it over one last time, take another 10 inch piece of duct tape and cover up the rest of the sticky side just perfectly like that and it's about 11 inches which is exactly what I want now you may notice on the sides here that there are there is some sticky parts showing and to get rid of those you can trim just a little bit off so that it's more uniform but remember you don't want to trim off too much otherwise you'll be cutting into how how wide and how long you made it so but you can trim those off a little bit so that's the end of this step Okay, so this is what it looks like after it's been trimmed. There are no sticky sides showing at all. And you got, hopefully you guys remember how to, how, just how I explained how to do this because you're going to be making an exact duplicate of it. So take the time now, make, make an exact duplicate of the one you just made, do any trimming you need to, so make sure they're exactly identical, and you can use the one you just made as your template. So do that right now. Okay, so after you've made your two sheets of duct tape, you're really going to start seeing the book bag take shape. So after you've taken them and they're perfectly identical, you can trim them a little bit if that's not, if that needs to be done. Take a 10 inch strip again and put half of it on one of the strips and half of it on the surface you're working on, just like that. Then what you're going to do is flip the whole thing over. Bear in mind we have two sheets here and we're going to connect the two on the bottom just like this. And kind of like that. So now the two sheets are connected at the bottom, which is going to be the bottom of the book bag. Okay, so now we've done the bottom of, the, of the, what's going to be the book bag. Now we have to do the sides. So we're going to cut out a strip of duct tape that is the length of the actual bag. In this case, it's 11 inches. So we're cutting out a strip that long. Put half of it on the sheet, half of it on the table. Stick it down. Flip the creation over and wrap the duct tape around. Remember, it's going to be a little difficult because you're working with a very large, long strip of duct tape, but do the best you can. Try not to get any air bubbles in there. So now we've done the bottom and the side here. We just have this one side here to go. Take another 11 inch strip, put half of it on the sheets, half of it on the table. Flip the whole thing over and stick it down. It's 
best as you can. Just like that. Okay, so now we have the pouch, which is effectively going to be the book bag. All right, now we're going to work on the flap that's going to go at the top of the book bag. So take two 10-inch strips, and you're probably used to working with these by now because you've been doing them the whole time. Stick them right on top of each other, just like that. Take a few more, and you're going to start overlapping them just as you were using, just as you were doing earlier with the sheets. Except we're going to go to about halfway down the book bag. So overlap just a little bit on the strip of duct tape on the table. Flip it over. Take another 10-inch strip of duct tape. Overlap it just a little bit, and continue this process back and forth, back and forth, until you get to the desired spot on the, the, the sheet of duct tape and it's about halfway down is where I'm going to put mine. Alright, so this is what it looks like after you're done just using the same process of applying the strips of duct tape back and forth covering up all the sticky spots. I trimmed it on the sides so what we're going to do is we're just going to stick it right on to the book bag here. So take another 10 inch strip, we're going to flip it upside down here. Make sure it's lined up at the top Put half of it on the top, on the flap here, half of it on the surface you're working on. Flip the whole thing over here, just like this, and stick it to the back part of the book bag. Stick it down like that. So now you've effectively created the top of the book bag. Now the only thing left to do is to make the strap. Alright, making the strap for the book bag is probably one of the easiest things you're going to do. All you're going to take is pretty much any length of strip of duct tape. I make mine kind of long so it doesn't take me as long. But pretty much what you're going to do is you're just going to stick them on top of each other. The first one you're going to do is you're going to line it up perfectly just like that. Flip it over. Obviously, I, let, I see I left a little bit exposed here. You take your next strip, overlap it just a little bit like that and then you just continue this process all the way down the line until you have a really long strip of duct tape with no sticky side showing and that will become your strap for your book bag okay so after you've made your strap you just stick it to the back with some plain old duct tape really simple there and then when you're all done you throw your notebook in there and you've got it that's how to make a duct tape book bag See you next time.